So the first thing we're going to be talking about um, is just a very basic understanding of the periodic table. Um, so what I first want to say is that vertically all these columns are called groups or families and horizontally these are called periods. And here we have the S block, the P block, the D block, and the F block. Okay. And we have metals on this side and non-metals on this side. And one thing to remember about that is this. Um, especially for boiling point questions, if they ask you, if they give you a molecule on this side, you know that it's going to be a gas at room temperature, meaning that its boiling point is going to be quite low. Okay. So that's one thing to keep in mind because boiling point will uh, play a pretty big importance later on. Um, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is periodic trends and they're very very important on the MCAT. Uh, they can save you and get you a lot of points. Uh, so let's just talk about them. Uh, so atomic radius as you go um, right on the periodic table it will decrease. Atomic radius will decrease and that's because um, every proton you add will increase the pull of all the electrons um, on the outside towards the nucleus because po more positive um, Say you had this on the inside and you had negative, negative, right? Well, now if you add a third one, well, now it's going to pull it in much further. All the electrons are going to want to come much further in. And when you increase, well, you're adding an entire new subshell. Um, so you start like this. Or well, if you're going down one, you're going to add an entire new subshell. So obviously it's going to increase. So overall trend, increasing, going down um, and to the left. Uh, so ionization energy. So ionization energy is the energy it requires to remove an electron. Um, so if something has a very high ionization energy, that means there's going to be um, a lot of intermolecular forces. And that could also be intramolecular, um, inter being between molecules, intra being within, within that one molecule. Um, and so when we go up on the periodic table, it increases, and going to the right, it increases. Um, and the reason why to go to the right, it increases, is because the, the smaller the molecule is, the harder it's going to want to break off um, an electron. So if you had something like this, the electrons are very tightly pulled in. To remove this electron, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of energy. So the next one we're going to talk about um, is the electron affinity. And so what exactly is electron affinity? So electron affinity, either positive or negative, um, and it's the energy released when an electron is added. And so a positive electron affinity means that you need energy in order to add it. So um, something that doesn't want uh, an electron will require more energy. Okay? Something that's negative releases the energy and it's favorable. Okay? So if we look at our periodic table, fluorine, which is missing one electron, we would think that it would have, it would really want an extra electron because we always want to get to this noble gas state, right? So if it, it wants one, it's going to have a very negative, very negative um, electronegativity and we just use that for a reference. So um, the more negative, um, it's going to be when we go to the right towards fluorine because they're close to the noble ga gas and going up as well, um, more negative. And so which would mean that down here would be very, very positive, which makes sense. They don't want... Uh, an extra electron because that will just make them farther away from the noble gas, right? If we were at, uh, for example, uh, rubidium, we add an electron, we go to all the way to strontium, well no, he wanted to lose an electron to get over to the noble gas which is very, very stable. Um, so adding electron here will require a lot of energy because the, elect the, the atom doesn't want an electron. Okay, the next thing we're going to be talking about is electronegativity um, and it's the attraction that each electron has. So um, for example, if you have, let's see, C, F, uh, F, F, F. Um, the, the fluorine is going to really pull electrons away from the carbon. carbon. Um, and we'll see why that's the case due to electronegativity. Um, it's the attraction that an that, uh, atom has for the electrons of another molecule. Um, and so the, the order that we need to remember is Fonkelbrush. And it's... F-O-N-C-L-B-R-S-C-H. So if we look on the table, F-O-N-C-L-B-R-S, then H. Okay, those are the highest electronegativity. Um, this is not so important, but the number uh, is between 4.0 and it goes all the way down um, to, you know, zero. Uh, so 
but it's very important to remember this because it'll help you a lot on the MCAT knowing that that's the order because a lot of equations will use this, a lot of um, just trends will need to know that. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.